EPA WA Meteorologist Bobby Martins here with your outlook for April 19th, 2019. For your Friday, we're going to have a cold front approaching the region today, and we'll, we'll, we will have some uh, clouds ahead of this. I don't think you're going to have too much in the way of activity as far as showers and thunderstorms during the day. We will have a few showers around in some parts of the areas this afternoon, but I think the main part of the line, the main part of the cold front, will come through overnight. Now, the National Weather Service has... Uh, flash flood watches up for across the region. I don't know that they're necessary, and they may end up dropping them just because the short-range guidance has not been thrilled with the uh, with the rain amounts, and they continue to not be uh, thrilled with that this evening uh, with the latest guidance. So here is the uh, global models we're looking at now. This is for early Friday morning. As we move through the day, uh, here's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and here is 8 p.m. You finally get some showers moving away eastward here on the global models and some thunderstorms included in that as well. Uh, but most of the activity comes through during the overnight and that it looks like it's going to favor central Pennsylvania closer to this, closest to the area of low pressure that is going to form along this boundary. And then eventually it's going to split because of the way the 500 millibar pattern is oriented. 500 millibar low is going to move back a little bit to the west and this is going to allow for uh, some uh, split or a dry slot in the middle. So for our area, it's going to be a tough call as far as how much rain falls. And it's a disagreement right now between the global models that go out to, you know, 15 days into the future versus the short range stuff that goes just to about three and a half days into the future and is saying uh, not so much, not a lot of rain. So that's a good thing. If, you, if, you're not, if you're not a fan of the rain, which I know a lot of you are not, especially after the heels of this, this past year, which we've had so much in the way of precipitation, uh, the less is better. Okay, so I get that up point here. But either way, this is going to uh, move out of here early on Saturday morning. And the weekend really doesn't look too bad as of right now. So we'll get to that in a second. So I do want to get over the name high-res future simulated radar. And this is starting off at, uh, what time here? This is starting off at 2 p.m. on Friday. Not, nothing going on across the region. There might be mostly cloudy skies. Uh, very warm temperatures today. We will have that. Temperatures are well into the 70s for many locations, but no real activity going on here. This is a one kilometer reflectivity, one kilometers above the ground. Okay, uh, so this is a pretty good representation of what the radar will look like. And this is now looking at 5 p.m. So a few scattered showers here late in the day for a few areas, just a small area though. Okay. And then once we get into the overnight hours, here's a look at 8 p.m. Looks like you're going to have a line of storms coming at you here. But the NAM says, uh, well, it's going to kind of fall apart. Not really do too much. Okay. And then the front comes through overnight. And then you get into Saturday morning and you have some showers for our eastern areas. Really nothing happened in the middle here. So I don't really expect uh, those flood watches, even the flood watches for one to two inches locally. Three, the National Weather Service has, is probably well overdone. And you might have some heavier rain with any thunderstorms that, that develop. Uh, the problem is here, uh, as far as severe weather is concerned, I think that's going to be a further south type thing. These areas and further south. So these areas right down here, I think, are your areas that could have the severe weather. Up here, uh, it, they had a marginal risk up here like this, up to these areas right here. So to include uh, parts of our area, I just don't see... Uh, a, a very good threat for severe weather across our region. And one of those reasons, if you look at, let me get to this image right here. This is a sounding. Now, this is a part of a sounding. I don't have the whole thing here. Uh, but this is looking at overnight when that front would actually come through. And this is when the, the uh, precipitate or the, when the uh, actual precipitation is considered or is showing to be falling on the, uh, on the simulated radars. You can see we have a lot of convective inhibition right in here. Uh, this means that we will have, we'll have plenty of cloud cover. What that does is help stabilize these things. And this sounding is not indicative of something that I would consider to be a severe weather sounding. So uh, this is not really looking too good for any kind of severe weather, which is good. So we have we can step away from that a little bit and just make uh, the marginal threat that's there by the by the SPC is probably good. And we'll leave it at that. And I don't think we're, we we need to increase this any. And it's just because that cloud cover is going to help inhibit some of that severe weather. And if you look at the last couple of days here, uh, one of the drivers for that was this upper level low, the cutoff upper level low. That's still here. Uh, but one of the reasons why we're not having that is we don't have a lot of diffluence ahead of this front boundary. Everything's kind of going the same direction. 
Okay, so we're not having a fading out effect. Everything, all the isobars are going in the gen same general direction. So that limits the severe possibilities. And earlier in the week, it was showing us a little bit more of a fading out effect. And that contributes to severe weather. So we don't have that. And as one of the things that we're, is going to limit uh, the severe potential here uh, for Friday. Now, we're going to have plenty of opportunities going forward. So if you're a severe lover, if you're one of the, if somebody likes to chase and, and uh, you know, lives and dies by these things, uh, there's going to be plenty of opportunities going forward. We're heading into severe season now. We just had a severe episode a couple days ago, and then this one might not produce, but it's not a big deal. We have plenty more opportunities coming. Okay, so here is, uh, going back to the global models, looking at Saturday. Now, Saturday does not look like it's a big deal to some showers in the morning and then mostly cloudy in the afternoon. It's now looking like Sunday is going to be okay. All right, so this is Easter Sunday. Maybe some showers just west of our coverage area out in these regions right in here, uh, but nothing else showing here for uh, for much of our coverage area. So the weekend doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's going to be mostly cloudy. You're not going to see a whole lot of sun, uh, but at least it's not raining the entire time. Maybe Sunday or Saturday morning for, for a time and then a considerable break and maybe not again at all for a lot of areas. Here on Sunday, it doesn't show anything here on the global model. So if that's the case, then Easter Sunday will be dry. As we go into Monday, we have a system off to our east that uh, the European model is trying to back into our area here. It doesn't have a lot of support for that to happen, so we're just going to keep it mostly cloudy and just leave an isolated shower in the forecast here for Monday. But it will be warm on Monday. Uh, same thing on Tuesday, still warm, but we'll have some showers moving in later in the day with a frontal battery moving toward our region. Uh, just some light showers, not a big deal, okay? And once that moves through, uh, warm Tuesday, uh, Wednesday is partly cloudy, but it will be cooler because now the frontal boundary is off to our south. So we're going to have be on the cooler side of this frontal boundary and temperatures will be kept in the 60s as opposed to the 70s that we'll see on Monday and Tuesday. Okay, and then finally, when we get to Thursday, uh, this particular model showing absolutely nothing where the GFS does have some showers in the region here later in the day. So we'll, we'll keep an isolated shower in the forecast here for Thursday for now until we see different. Uh, but right now there's an opportunity for Thursday to be dry as well. So it does look like Wednesday and Thursday are going to be cooler than uh, a little bit cooler than, than, than the 70s. We'll probably be stuck in the 60s for highs, but it's still it's not cold. And uh, there's a whole week ahead. If you take the entire snapshot of a week, of the week ahead, what looked like it could be a very, very, very wet week, now really doesn't look so bad. I mean, a couple of scattered showers here and there at different times, but few and far in between. It's not really that big of a deal. So with that being said, uh, we'll continue to monitor this. I mean, there is an opportunity that this system that's coming in here tonight does overperform, and that's why the National Weather Service has those flood watches up. But uh, I do think they might be discontinuing them based on the latest model guidance. This is the entire system I'm going to take you through right here. Uh, this is where the precipitation starts. You have a few showers here late in the day. This is 5 p.m. on Friday. And as you move through the overnight period, you get some more showers out here in central PA, showers and thunderstorms. And this is now looking at 9 p.m., 10 p.m. And then we go through the night here to about midnight, lifts off to the north, and that's pretty much it. Then you got a few showers further east here. So... Might not be that big of a deal. If you do get a thunderstorm, it can produce heavy rain. Uh, but if you, if some areas will end up with very little out of this and uh, not necessitating the flood watches that the National Weather Service has paintbrushed over the entire area. Most areas will not see that. Okay, so that is the week ahead. I'm Easter PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for April 19th, 2019. Have a great Friday.